Well, hello, you're very welcome, and thanks for dropping in at Cleaning Doctor Network. My name is William Little, I'm the owner and franchise founder of Cleaning Doctor Network. If you've been checking out my brand, you will have noticed we have four totally different business opportunities. We call them Cleaning Doctor Business Options, A, B, C and D. You might ask, well, why have we four different business options? Having operated in the cleaning sector for over two decades, I have discovered that the industry of cleaning is absolutely massive. It's fast changing and above all, it's in big demand in every part of the country. And yes, it's in demand right where you're living right now. When you're working with a brand of choice, a brand that's highly respected all over the country, simply a brand that's local and trusted with technical knowledge and know-how this means you will be daily delivering satisfaction guaranteed cleaning services. Like all our Cleaning Doctor branch owners, you will quickly acknowledge you have a very powerful, unique, attractive selling point in your business. And your customers, well, they just love it. My years of experience has taught me that those companies who niche market their range of expert attention to detail services and operate with unique USPs, they always attract potential clients like a magnet. Trust me, this is the ultimate successful business secret. Indeed, I found this eliminates virtually all of the uncertainties of going into business, and why tried and tested franchise operations like Cleaning Doctor have been so popular over the last 10 to 20 years. So today, right now, you can immediately tap into this concept. From day one, when you operate a vibrant, customer appealing cleaning doctor business model. Yes, before you ask, you can of course operate more than one. This is already happening in our network. Your potential is never restricted. You're in your local protected territory. The sky is basically the limit with any cleaning doctor branch. Good morning, I'm with Peter Appleby, uh, who runs my operation in Airedale and Wharfdale. Peter, thanks very much uh, for, for joining You're me. Welcome. Peter, you were one of those guys that came from a real corporate background, and I can say you were probably one of the most nervous potential investors I ever had. Mm -hmm. Ten years later, what's the experience been like, Peter, with, with, with Cleaning Doctor? You've only got about a few minutes to tell the story now here. It's been absolutely superb. It's been the best thing I ever did. The, the nervous bit, you can understand why. Parting, you know, with yeah. with a few thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah of course. Um, of my hard-earned <laughs> dosh. You know, meeting a couple of people from Ireland. You know. Yeah. Who knows? But um, <laughs> it was it's the best thing I ever did. Luckily, I was recommended by a friend of a friend in the first place, who'd, who'd looked through all the different franchise options. He spent two years doing it, and so I just thought, well, what's the point? Of spending two when when he's already done the research for me. Yes, he's found yes. William Little. He's found the cleaning doctor. So mm -hmm. if it's good enough for him, mm -hmm. he gave me the the numbers in terms of um, profit and turnover. And I thought, well, if it's half as I'm I'm, ex I'm assuming he's exaggerating. <laughs> what part of the world do you come from, Peter? <laughs> I come from obviously Yorkshire. <laughs> but I assumed I divided everything by two, like you do. Yeah. And um, I'm actually doing double what I thought. Good. like my friend was doing, yeah. both in terms of turnover and profit. I'm earning a lot of money. I start work about half past nine in the morning. I go and meet some new friends, i.e. my new clients. Yes, yes, yes. They make me a cup of tea, uh -huh. they give me a few biscuits, I get some exercise, and then before I leave, they put lots of money into my hand. Yes. It beats working for a living, yeah. that's what I say. You know, I think I'm in the wrong business. I'm actually training and supporting guys like yeah, you. Well, I think I'm in the wrong business, yeah. but I know I can remember, and I'm 28 years at, yeah. at this, and uh, honestly, it makes me feel so humble just listening to a story like that. And that's really the way that it is, because it's a people's business. I know we're in business, but there's real good fun out there too, isn't there, Peter? It's the, all what you make it, isn't it? There's good fun out there. I'm, we're just finishing a training course in Ireland, and I've met sort of 20 odd other cleaning up to franchises, I am amazed how profitable. I thought my business was profitable. I'm there, I think they're more proactive than I am, I've got to say. But I am amazed. Yeah, you're a bit of a lazy bugger in marketing. Lazy. I'm very lazy. 
but there's some guys out there doing exceptionally, exceptionally well. Yeah. Dono Sullivan runs our Kerry range of companies down there. Dono, you're with me about 12, 13 years? Yeah, 13 years now, Willie. Really. I started with you in 2004. Uh, before that, as I said, I was engineering for a few companies. I did mechanical electrical engineering. I travelled around Ireland for different various companies of that. And I was wanting to move back to Kerry and get into a different industry from the engineering side of stuff and stumbled across, as I say, cleaning doctor back then and part of the family since. Great. One thing about Kerry people is they always say tight Kerry people and they are tight. <laughs> no tighter man than Donald O'Sullivan. <laughs> And Dono, many years ago you parted with a whole load of money to me. Right. You could have done it on your on your own, Dono. Hmm. Uh, why did you take all that money out of your bank account, Dono? Well, I suppose we, we looked at the whole concept of Clean Doctor as a franchise and we had done our research on other franchises and looked at what was out there. Uh, the big thing for us was coming into the cleaning industry, I suppose, was what mistakes our competitors were making and the knowledge, the lack of knowledge probably they had. So for me, like going with a franchise was a no-brainer, but to find that ethical franchise that was out there or someone that was going to support me was a big thing and the research and the feedback we got from the few franchises that were there at the time mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's grown into quite a, a large business since. But back then there was only seven or eight guys before me and they were all spoke very highly of yourself, Willem, mm -hmm. and of the team here in Clean Doctor Head Office. Mm -hmm. Well, today we are the largest cleaning brand on the island of Ireland. I can tell you I didn't do that on my own, I'm just one person, I have 10 of a team at head office, but really I, I wouldn't be where I am today without people like Donald O'Sullivan because actually the business owners in each county is really the brand, so Donald, have we delivered over those years? Yeah. Are we ahead of the game? Are we behind in the game? No, we're, we're, we're way ahead of the game and there's supposed to be secrets that we have that are still not out there. You know, mm -hmm. we're so far ahead of the game we can't keep up with ourselves at times. But it's great to have all these new things coming on board and we're moving into we're here this week now up for the smart seal training or whatever it is and having that as part of our ammunition going forward and the external side of the business is going to be brilliant. Yeah. Don't have you any free hours in your business? Very little. <laughs> uh, we're very busy, as I say, we're 13 years at it, we're growing all the time. We have a brilliant team in Kerry there with myself and Eddie on the external side of stuff and Ian that works with us and um, Damien is my right hand man on the internal side of the business and both our wives, my seven, eighteen, my wife and Hilda, his wife. I mean, we have a good team there, and you're talking about a good team of ten up here. We're very similar below, mm -hmm. and we run, we try to run a tight ship down there as well.